Good evening, Anna. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. How was your day? My day was okay. That's okay. All right. What did you do today? I did. I did a something. Thing. I have. I make a. I made a report for my bus. I complete. A uh, report, another report for, for the job. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And you have told me you finished with all the work in the platform, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Nice. And what's the weather like where you live, Anna? Is it cold? Yes, it's cold. Yeah, it's pretty and cold over here too. There is wind. Oh, it's very windy, right? Yeah. Where do you live? I live in Astoria, La Paz. Oh, in La Paz. Wow. Yes, near to the airport. Oh, okay. That's good. Yes, teacher, I have a friend. She wants uh, her, what can what can what can do for study English in the in this in this corporation. Oh, okay. So first of all, you need to fill in a form. Um, if you go to any of the videos in YouTube, you would find a link over there. And okay. there it says if you'd like to join, just complete this form and it asks you for some contact number and um, well, your personal information. And then English Corporativo is going to contact her, okay? And you can, you can share the form. Yeah, let me or, check. I think I have the link over here. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I'm sending it to the to the group. Okay. Good evening, Jose Angel. Hello, Jose Angel. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Uh, I am okay, Miss. Thanks. And you? All right. I'm fine. Thanks. Are you cold? <laughs> 
Yes, yes, it's cold. Yeah, right. It's really cold. Mm -hmm. cold. Yes. And how was your day? Uh, fine, teacher. Fine. Just fine. Okay. Good. Nice. Yes. Okay. And have you been working in the platform, Jose Angel? Yes. Uh, yesterday, yesterday I finished. You finished with everything? You finished. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, finished. All right. That's nice. Congratulations. Thanks. Good evening, Emma. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. How was your day? It was fine. Okay, did you have to work? Yes, I have. You did, okay. And you told me you already finished with all the work in the platform as well, right? Yes, I finished. You're done, okay, excellent. Good evening, Fabricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Okay, how was your day? It's all fine. It was all fine. Okay. All right. That's good. In the platform, mister, how are you doing with that? I'm not finished uh, section four in the night I'm working. Okay. And do you remember what exercise you're in? Mm, exercise. I'm sorry, teacher. Oh, do you remember what what actual exercise are you in or what lesson are you in? Lesson. <laughs> I understand. Oh, in qué parte de la sección cuatro va? Ah, okay. Dice que si siendo sincero no 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 he avanzado, pero ah, okay. ahora me pongo, ahora trabajo. Muy bien. Okay. Just remember that we only have this week for completing all section four, so we should work. Okay. Okay. So, thanks. All right. Good evening, Brenda Calderon. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Fine. Then, thank you. Great. I'm fine too. Thanks. How was your day? So so. So so. Okay. Did you have to work today? Mm, yes. You did, okay. And tell me about the platform, Brenda. How are you doing with that? Mm, I work in, in section four. And, uh, the finish exercise. Uh, el segundo ejercicio. The second knowledge check. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. Just remember we got tomorrow and Friday to work on section four or to complete it actually. So just keep going. Okay. Good evening, Ruth. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm pretty well. Thanks for asking, Ruth. How was your day? Um, very well. Um, with a lot of work. A lot of work. Okay, it was busy. Yes. And in the platform, have you been completing the exercises? Um, I. Uh, in the section uh, five. 
you're in section five, okay? All right, that's good. You're doing pretty well. Thank you. Good evening, Doris. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I am very, very well, thank you. I'm pretty well, too. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Mm, I'm fine. Okay. It was, it was fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Did you have to work today? Yes, I did. Oh, all right. And tell me about the platform, Doris. What section are you in? I finished the section number four, five, and final exam. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're done with everything. Yes. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, Carolina. Hi, how are you? I am well. Great. How was your day? It was good, very good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. And how are you doing with the platform? I am only left with me. You're only uh, missing the the midterm or the final exam? Solo the midterm me me falta el B nada más. De ahí nada más, el otro termine todo. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you. Good evening, Alma Quintanilla. Alma, hello. Okay, good evening, Isaac. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Teacher. Hi, Miss, and you? Doing pretty well, thanks. How was your day? I'm fine. Teacher. I have a heavy day. Oh, really? Oh, no, that's pretty bad. But it's almost over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Okay, and tell me about the platform, Isaac. How are you doing with that? Um, I am. Um, um, right now is a uh, work is uh, Papi. Papi. unit three. Okay. Um, Papi, you come in, Papi. Papi, you come in. All right. All right, you're still in section three. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Just remember to keep going. We only got this week and the other one to finish the course. So it's important to continue working, okay? All right, so welcome everybody. We're going to start with our class right now. We're going to start by making a review of the present perfect that we studied yesterday, right? So can you start by giving me an example of a sentence using the present perfect? Any sentence that you can think of. Let's see, can you make an example of a sentence in the affirmative form? I have cooked dinner. I have cooked dinner. You write it, you say, I have cooked dinner, very good. 
Okay, now let's make one using she. Just think about a sentence using she and the present perfect. She, she has a new phone. She has bought a new phone. Very good. So as you may remember, we use first of all a subject, then we use the auxiliary have, or in the case of the third person, we have has. Remember we have uh, we use have for I, you, we, and they, and has for he, she, and it. And then it's important to also keep in mind that we need to use the past participle of the verbs. In the case of the regular verbs, we only add ed, as we do for making the past simple tense. And in the case of the irregular ones, some of them change, right? So we must just memorize them. Now, tell me how to make negative sentences using the present perfect. Give me an example, please. Let's use the subject we. Can somebody make a negative sentence using we and the present perfect? We played it at uh, soccer tonight. tonight. We have okay, so we would say we haven't played soccer tonight. Now let's make another one using he. Give me an example, please. Anybody? He hasn't read the books. He hasn't read the book. Read the books. Okay, thanks. Then for the negative, we have the, the same auxiliary, have or has, but we add not, right? And then the contracted forms that we can use are haven't or hasn't. And also remember about the use of the present perfect. Well, we use it for talking about things that happened in the past, but have some kind of consequence in the present or they are linked to the present in some way. We use the present perfect to link the past to the present. Okay, and now let's talk about questions. How do we make questions using the present perfect? Well, this is a structure we follow. We have the auxiliary have or has, then the subject, then the past participle, and then the complement and the question mark. For example, have you been to London? Have you been to London? How can we answer that question? Any ideas about the answer? Had you visit uh, the answer? No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't been no. in London. Okay, no, I haven't, or no, I haven't been to London. Or you could also say yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I, have. Yes, I, have I have been, been to London. Very well. Now let's make some other example questions. Help me, please. Make another question using have or has. Had you visited to New York? Have you visited New York? Very good. And the answers again, no, I haven't, or yes, I have. Okay, let's make another question. Can somebody give me another example, please? Has she sang a song? 
Has she sang a song? Okay, and what could be the possible answers? Yes, she has. Yes, she has, or? No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't, that's right. Okay, give me another one, please. Let's see. Fabricio, can you make one, please? Has he when beach? Yeah. Has he gone to the he beach? To the beach. Pardon. Okay. Thanks, Fabricio. That's good. Emma, can you make another one, please? Has she um, how do you say do does en pasado? Sorry, can you repeat it? Um para, para poner hizo su tarea. Oh do did done. Done is a participle. Done. Has she done her homework? Her homework. Very good, Emma. Okay, one last example from Maria del Rosario. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi. Can you make another she, question? Go ahead. Uh, have you ever been in swimming? Have you ever, well, um, let's say, have you ever swam, swam, for example, in a lake, let's say? Thank you, Maria del Rosario. Okay, so there we have some example questions using the present perfect. Now I'm going to assign you this work. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes and you are going to practice by making questions and asking them to your classmates and also answering them. For example, in number one, we got you, read, war, and peace. What's the question? Have you, read, have you read War and Peace? So you ask, for example, let's see, Isaac, have you read War and Peace? No, no, I hear it. No, you have it. Okay, that's what you have to do. You have to make the questions, ask them, and answer. So let me send you to the breakout rooms right now and I'm sending you a picture of the information or of the prompts to the WhatsApp group. Okay. okay there you go. And you have the question in 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 as were the sentences. Uh, yeah. 
I now send the, the example through the WhatsApp. Make a question. You can see? Uh, you said through the send WhatsApp. To... Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. And number one, you, uh, you read war in peace. You read in peace. How do you how do you learn where in peace? In the Hola. Rosario. Hola. Answer. Yeah. Yes, I have. Okay, excellent. And this, uh, you can answer, please. You, you can question, okay. please. Number two. Had you be late for a meeting? Yes, I have. Yes, I haven't. You say yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have the meaning in today. Yes, I have. Sorry. Yes, I have the meaning in today. Okay. How do you go to okay. Australia? No, I haven't. I mm -hmm. I drink. Drink. Sorry. Probably this. I was. Have you missed the bus? Okay. Hola. Have you missed the bus? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. okay. Also, Doris is here in your group. So, Doris, are you there? Okay. Doris. Maybe she cannot hear us. Okay, just try to include her if she's here. Maybe she's having trouble with the connection or anything. But um, yeah, just continue. Okay. Number six. Sí, solo se le agrega ED. Entonces, have you missed the bus? Yes, I have. Yes, I, yes, I have. Okay. Um, have you worked in this company for 15 years? Yes, I have. Okay. Para el it se usa el have o el has. Has. Has, ¿verdad? Sí. Has it rained all day? No, I, I hasn't. It, no, it, it hasn't. It hasn't. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you. Okay. It hasn't. Um, Have you studied? No, I haven't. Um, has it rained all day? Has it rain, rain? Rain. ¿Cómo es el, cómo es el pasado participio de rain? It's a regular verb, so you only add ed. Oh, yes. Rained. Rained. Yes, that's right. Rained. That's it. Rained. Okay. Rained. Rained. Okay. Has Angel has it rained all day? Sit. 
no I no I have no it hasn't no it hasn't it Sorry. it hasn't okay Okay. It's rained all day. Yes, Dennis. No, I has hasn't. it rained all day? No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Okay. Uh, had you studied French? I've just uh, studied. Studied no, I French. Haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Had you traveled? In a plane? Have you traveled in a no, plane? I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> Had yeah. you, <laughs> how do you say it? Is... it eaten. Eaten. Eaten, okay. Yes. Had you eaten Thai food? Thai food? Um... Uh, thai food. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, yes, I okay. have. Yes. Had you watched uh, a movie this week? No, I haven't. You watched a movie this week. Yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> And you? Mm, yes, I have. Um, Estrella de Belén. All right, so let me hear some of your answers. Let's see, Fabricio, have you read War and Peace? No, I haven't. Okay, now Fabricio, can you ask the second question to Carlos René, please? Carlos René, uh, have you, it's his name. How do you ring later for a meeting? No, I haven't. Okay, Carlos René, now you ask Jose Angel. Question number three. Jose Angel, have you gone to Australia? No, I haven't. Jose Angel, you ask Maria del Rosario. Okay. Maria del Rosario, you have. Have you? Oh, no, sorry. Have you missed the bus? Yes, I have. Okay. Okay, Maria del Rosario, ask Melvin. Melvin, have you worked in this company for 16 years? No, I haven't. I okay. I was working here for for four things ago, uh, years ago. Yeah. For Thank ten you. years. Okay. Melvin, ask Alma Quintanilla. Alma Quintanilla, it no has it rain. Rain. Uh, rain. Rain. Rain all day. Can you hear me, please? Alma, uh, has it rained all day? Uh, So Alma, has it rained all day? No, it hasn't. All right. Now Alma, you ask Dennis Castro. 
tenis. Eh. Are you are you study French? No, I haven't. Okay, Dennis, can you ask Ruth? Ruth. Yes. Uh, have you traveled in a plane? Yes, I have. Ruth? Very nice. You ask Emma. Emma, uh, have you eat Thai food? No, I haven't. Okay, just remember that we say eating. Have you eaten Thai food? Eating Thai food, okay. Emma, you ask Ana Palma. Okay. Um, Ana, have you watched a movie this week? No, I haven't. Okay. All right, so let's continue by um, reviewing some of the time expressions we can use with the present perfect. So we got, for example, already. Let me make an example for you. That would be. There you have. I have already eaten my dinner. Let me make another example, please. Let's see. Can somebody make another example using already? Okay, let's see, Carolina. Go ahead and make an example using already, please. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, ¿Qué significa esa oración? ¿Cómo... ¿Cómo se traduce? Sure, you say, I have already eaten my dinner. Ya comí mi, mi cena. Ya o comí. ya cené. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. So, Carolina, do you have an example? Let's see, Catherine Rodriguez, can you make one? Oh. Catherine? Just make maybe, a uh -huh. Go ahead. maybe um, I have already worked my homework. Okay, then you say done. Go on my homework. Done my homework. Good, Catherine. I have already done my homework. Okay, now let's talk about yet. Yet is for negative sentences. For example, when we say we haven't done exercise today let's see oh sorry let me change it to yet we haven't done exercise yet so that would be aún aún no he hecho ejercicio yet let's see make another example please uh, melvin Okay, teacher. Um, let me see. Um, I haven't swung in the pool yet. I haven't swung in the pool yet. Very good, Melvin. Okay, our next word is four. We use four together with a uh, period of time. Let me make an example that would be she has lived she 
She has lived in the same house for three years. Make another one, please, Carlos René. I have eaten. I three have... times. Sorry, can you repeat that? For three times. I have eaten for three times. Okay, in that case, we should only say I have eaten three times. So just try using four together with a period of time. Uh, okay. I have eaten. I have. Maybe you can try to change the word. So we get Let's use, I have worked, for example. I have worked. For five days. For five days. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Carlos. Our next okay, one you. is since. Since is to indicate the, the time or the date when something started, for example, when we say, we have lived in Santa Ana since 2007. Make another Another sentence using since, please. Let's see. Anna. I have started. Started? My, the college <laughs> signs. Sign 2001. Since 2001. I have started college since 2001. Okay. Thanks, Anna. Emma. Oh, let me make first of all a one with ever and think about it, Emma. You're going to make one example using ever. For example, let me make a negative one. I haven't ever been to Colombia. Okay, Emma, can you make yours? I don't know. <laughs> okay, just try using a negative sentence. Let's say she hasn't ever. Okay. She hasn't ever been in an airplane. Been in an airplane. Okay. Very good. Then we have never. For example, you have never traveled to Japan. Make another one, please. Um, let me see. Maria del Rosario. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. um. I have never been, I have never um, eaten, eaten? Uh, 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 como se dice? Uh, rana, rana. What is it? I have never eaten and ranas 
Oh, frogs? Bro. 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 Okay, that's a good example. Then we have the word recently. And we can use it, for example, in the sentence, he has visited his relatives recently. He has visited his relatives recently. Let me change the color, that one isn't good. Okay, make another example, please. Jose Angel, give it a try. Okay. Uh, I have. I have. So we could say I have met my with my with with my my friends. My what? My friends. 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 Recently. Recently. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Say I have met my friends recently. And then we got just, which is similar to recently. Let me give you an example that would be. They have just come. They have just come. Make another example, please. And let's see who hasn't participated. Ruth? Mm, I, I have um, yes. a, a real just in time. Okay. So in that case, we're using the just in a different way. Let's just skip it as I have just arrived. All right, just arrived. I have just arrived. Okay, pretty well. So now please everybody repeat already. 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 Yet. 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 For. 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 Since. 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 Ever. 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 Never. 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 Recently. 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 Just. Yeah. Just. Just. Okay, are we clear about the use of all of them or do we have any questions, any doubts? Teacher. Yes. Uh, other example, the recently, I don't understand the use the recently. The use of recently, that is to say that something has just happened. It may be in the previous hours or in the previous days. So, for example, um, let's say. We have. Finished. The English course recently. For example, this. So that means that we finished the English course maybe last week or what days ago or something like that, but it's something recent. It wasn't that long ago. I don't know if it's Twitter. Any other questions? Yes. 
recently always goes to the end of the sentence? Yes, it always oh. goes at the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's a, tell me. En español, en español, ¿qué sería recently, recientemente? O... Recientemente. Uh -huh. ¿Ve? Y just. Just. Exactly. Sí, serían similares en el uso. Recently y just serían básicamente lo mismo. En el mismo, okay. el mismo significado, mismo sentido, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. okay, so let's continue by making some sentences. This is what we are hey. going to do. I'm going to tell you some information and you are making the sentence. So let's give it a try. We got number one. And make bread for breakfast. Make a sentence using the present perfect, please. It's and make bread for breakfast. Anybody? With expression or, or without expression? Just with the information I'm giving you, okay? Just to the present perfect. Yes. Okay. So the information is, or the prompt is, and make bread for breakfast. Make the sentence using the present perfect, please. I have, I have made my breakfast. But the subject is N, N. So say it again, please, Anna. Um, yes. Um, I have the per the the, the person M. perfect you, you said. Yeah, yeah, you, you're right. It's just that you said I and the subject I said was N. Um, and made. And has, has made. Has made. made. The break, break, breakfast. Exactly. Anne has made break for breakfast. Next one. The couple just go shopping. The couple just go shopping. So it would be probably better to write them. Let me see. Take okay. The couple have the when has when just shopping gone the couple has just gone shopping okay gone shopping okay next one It's Jill never play violin to an audience. Okay, go ahead and make that one, please. Jill has never. Jill has never played violin to an audience. Played violin to an audience. That's right. Jill has never played violin to an audience. Next one says Kate just have a bath. Kate has Kate has just had a bath. Kate has just had a bad, that's right. Okay, let's make one last one. That would be Ben just have an accident. 
Go ahead. Ben has just had an accident. Exactly. Ben has just had an accident. Okay. Very well. Now let's talk about the things that we have not done. I want you to think about five things that you have never done in your life. Maybe those things that you, you would have liked to do or you would still like to do, but you have not had a chance to do. So think about those things. For example, it could be you had never ridden a roller coaster. You had never gone to, the, to an amusement park or you had never, what? Let's say you had never um, gone parachuting. You had never done bungee jumping. Just think about those things that you have not done and you would like to do. And um, let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. I want you to share that with your classmates. Is that clear? Guys, are we clear about what we are doing? Lo que nunca hemos hecho y lo que nos gustaría. Yeah, just five things that you have not done in your life. Okay. For example, you could say, I have never been in an airplane or I have not been in an airplane or I have not traveled to the US and things like those. Okay, go ahead and practice. Hola, hola. Hi, Maria. You're working together with Doris, but maybe Doris is having trouble with her microphone or with her connection. I don't know. Yes, no. Because she no. doesn't answer, right? Okay, let me move you to a different breakout rooms. So you have a okay. different partner. Let's see. There you go. Broke my arm. <laughs> okay. Um, I have never spent the Oh, I have never been put away. Okay. I have never found love. <laughs> okay. I have never... Right. I have never um, eaten snake. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 the heart is riding. Riding the horse. Reading, reading. Reading, okay. I had never ridden the horse. Reading? The horse. A okay. Horse. A horse. Mm -hmm. Horse. And driving? Driven? 
I have I have never driven a motorcycle. Okay. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Oh, Bungie, I never um past participle for jump. Jumped. Jumped. It's regular. Okay. Yep. I never I have never jumped. Uh, in Bonji. Hi, girls. Did you finish? Not the chair. Not yet. How many sentences uh, we we make? Can you repeat that? I couldn't get it. How, ma how many sentences uh, we? We may, we may. Five each? Five. Yes. Okay. okay, in my case, I, I have repaid the car yet. And I haven't learned English for one year. All right, so that will be all for today's class. Thanks for participating. Take care. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Night, teacher. Thank, you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.